Good evening, good evening, good evening. Happy, happy Monday. Today is May 1st, 2023. Wow. We are embarking upon the sixth month of the year. I want to give a heavenly shout out to my dad, who would have been 108 years old today. So happy heavenly birthday, Dad. I also want to wish a happy birthday to my grandnephew, Khalees Lama, a.k.a. Chuck. Happy birthday, Chuck. Also, happy birthday to one of my neighbors in my hometown of Tuskegee, Alabama. Rather, she used to be my neighbor, Miss Sally Whitaker. Happy birthday, Miss Sally. Um, I also want to wish Vanetta Ortiz in Waterbury, Connecticut, a happy birthday today. And um, if today is your birthday, let me wish you a happy birthday. It's a bittersweet day. Today is a little different, you know. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead on and get started with this show. Tonight, I will be showing you some pieces from our Blockbuster collection. Everything is $5. Everything that I'm showing you is in stock and available. Okay, so we're going to go ahead on and get started. With today, because I had so many people uh, that I wanted to mention and wish a happy birthday today, we'll start tomorrow with the happenings, observances, and events in the month of May. So the first thing I would like to introduce you to or present to you this evening is an inspirational necklace. It is a charm necklace. It is called Charmed, I Am Sure. This is item number 273. As you can see, it's quite busy. We have charms on here, and we have um, a puffy heart that says, Love the Lord your God with all your heart. And on the back side of that, it gives you the um, passage of scripture uh, that is taken from. This is like a clover, but it's black. This one is black and silver. We have a conglomerate of puffy discs, elongated ellipse shapes. We have black beadings. We have see-through beads. We have the rustic bronze bead in here. But this basically is a black and silver necklace. It features an adjustable clasp closure, has that much of an extender falls and legs like that below your collar and comes with a pair of small hoop earrings that are connected to black beads to give it more strength and character. This is called Charmed, I Am Sure, from the Blockbuster Collection, item number 273. 273. Definitely a nice piece to add to your collection. Okay. That was charmed, I am sure. Up next, we have a vivacious, versatile, very colorful necklace. It is called Kaleidoscopically Captivating, and it features these uh, acrylic round circulars that are interfaced to silver, threaded along a silver chain. It features, it's a long necklace, so we have a myriad of colors going on here. The yellow, the pink, the orange, the teal blue, and the silver, and a different brighter shade of yellow. It is threaded along a silver chain. It features an adjustable clasp closure, and it has that much of an extender. And it comes with a pair of matching light pink discs that match the pink disc in the necklace. This is item number 274, 274. 
and it's called Kaleidoscopically Captivating. This is a blockbuster necklace, $5.40, very versatile, item number 274. Now, this bracelet came in a few weeks ago, and it is called Multi... Excuse me. This is called Multicolored Madness, and it's a bracelet that will accommodate or it could accommodate the necklace that I just showed you. The only difference in this is it has a tint of green and purple, but who's who cares? These monochromatic colors go very well with it. It's called multi. Let me turn it around so you can see it. It's called multicolored madness bracelet. And it has a conglomerate of colors. It's threaded along stretchable bands for a flexible fit. Fits on your wrist like that. And I want to show you, this is 275, and I'm going to bring back the kaleidoscopically captivating necklace. That works beautifully together, don't you think? Look at that. Ah, beautiful. I just wanted to show you that. So sometimes, even though things don't come in together, at some point when the rubber meets the road, you have a fit. Sometimes it matches up perfectly. That was two seventy five for the bracelet, two seventy four for the necklace. Okay. So up next, let me see who is this out here. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me this evening. Hey Chantel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your presence. I appreciate you so much. Okay, what I have next is a staple from the Blockbuster Collection. And this one is called A Toast to Perfection in Gold. So we have clusters of pearls that are set and capped in gold frames. And we have sporadic inserts of white rhinestones sporadically attached to each one of these clusters. It's threaded along a gold chain. It features an adjustable clasp closure with that much of an extender, so it falls and lays like that below your collar. And if you pay attention to the earrings, the earrings are in the same cluster shape as in the necklace. They're a little bit less clustered because you only have one pearl set in the gold frame, and then we have two um, rhinestones that flank it. And they are interfaced and connected to standard fish hook fittings for pierced ears. This is called a toast to perfection in gold. This is also available in silver. A toast to perfection. 276. Okay. And that brings us to hypnotize. Hypnotize. It's item number 277, and I am going to show it to you today in silver. It has three beautiful oversized rhinestones that are set in a scalloped um, silver frame, and it has a circumference of white rhinestones around it. Isn't that beautiful? And this design is just different or extraordinary. It's threaded along a silver chain. It has that much of an extender. Falls and hangs like that below your collar. Comes with a very cute pair of blinged out white rhinestones that match the rhinestones in the necklace. But the difference is these rhinestones are set in a silver frame and they are interfaced and connected to standard fish hook fittings. These rhinestones are set in a hammered out silver frame with a fancy design and they're surrounded with smaller rhinestones. 
So this is item number 277. This is also available in gold. And it is called Hypnotize from the Blockbuster Collection. Hey, Juanisha, thank you for joining me this evening. Good to see you. Okay, item number 278 is a retired uh, Blockbuster. It's called Untamed in silver. As you can see from looking at it, it is... It has all of the hieroglyphics and depictions of an artisanal design. We have these two crescent shapes on the side, and then we have these bars uh, uh, that exude from the bottom of this rope chain. This is a silver rope, and each side mirrors the other, and this is all silver. This is called untamed, falls and lays like that below your collar. And it features an adjustable clasp closure and is threaded along a thick rope in silver. The earrings match the pieces that you see in the palette of the necklace. This is called Untamed in Silver. Very nice. Look at the earrings. Very cute, interfaced, and connected to standard fish hook fittings. This is item number 278. 278. She is a retired blockbuster piece, but I still have a few in my inventory. This is called Untamed in Silver, item number 278. Okay. I hope you had a great day today. Mondays are the beginning of the week, and I feel like if I can get through Monday... The rest of the week is a breeze. Okay. So now, I probably shouldn't do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Because Untamed is also a multicolored necklace that features copper, brass, and silver. I'm going to show it to you in the multi. So this is Untamed. The necklace I just showed you in silver, this is the multi version. We have a copper rope. We have copper earrings with the same hieroglyphics and depictions as the others, as the other one. But we have the silver uh, piece as the focal point of this particular necklace. Each side mirrors the other, and then it's threaded along that copper rope chain. It features an adjustable clasp closure, falls and lays like that below your collar. Very versatile piece, very cute. Two seventy nine. This one is called Untamed Multi. Two seventy nine. Okay, we're gonna keep moving and grooving here. Thank you for your hearts and all the love. Hey, Trina, thank you for joining me this evening. Hey, Francois, always good to see you, my handsome brother. Thank you for checking in with me this evening. Okay, so up next, I have a cute piece here that is called A Warm Welcome. Look at that. Isn't that nice? We have these beautiful colors and textures. We have the smoky glass filled beadings. And we have an array of colors. It's warm. It's inviting. Hence the name, A Warm Welcome. We feature a silver chain. And look at those beautiful, beautiful brass earrings. And they mimic the brass in the necklace. These beads are interfaced and connected to standard fishhook fittings for pierced ears. And look at this sassy piece in the center. That is a copper beaded piece that is flanked with silver discs. And then we have the silver beads mirroring on each side. We have the smoky peachy color uh, glass beadings the brass beads, and then this is like a, a warm chocolate shimmery bead that has an oblong shape that's different, and then the silver. Isn't that beautiful? This is called a warm welcome. 
This is from the Blockbuster Collection, item number 280. Now, A Warm Welcome does have a piece of wrist candy, and the wrist candy is called All Cozy It Up. It is a bracelet that features all of the beads and pieces in the necklace, and it's stretchable, beautiful piece of wrist candy. This is called All Cozy Up. Item number 281, and I'm going to bring back 280 right quick to show you how well these two pieces work together. Isn't that cute? $5.40 each, ladies. It does not get any better. Ladies and gentlemen, cute, versatile fit. And good. It's, it's, it's the type of jewelry that this set can be worn at any time, Okay. Now we're going to come back to some really, really sexy stuff. This one is called Lady in Waiting. And Lady in Waiting is a beautiful, beautiful three-tiered pearl necklace. And let me show you how cute she is. We have the white pearls. We have the light gray pearls. And then in the center, we have the darker gray pearls. I have it extended all the way out. It is like a hugger necklace, but these pearls are so cute. And they come with a pair of matching earrings that are in that darker gray, which matches and implicates the center section of gray pearls. This is item number 282. 282, and her name is Lady in Waiting. Lady in Waiting. Very classy, very nice. And what I really, really love about all of the Blockbuster pieces, the earrings that they chose to put with them are exactly phenomenal. So now... I want you to take a look at Fishing for Compliments in Silver. This necklace is also available in gold. But right now, I want to present and show it to you in silver. It looks like a fisherman's net. Uh, hence the name Fishing for Compliments. And you have a sporadic disbursement of rhinestones that is strong throughout this diamond cut silver net that is interfaced and connected to a stand a clasp closure has that much of an extender. The earrings feature the chain links in the necklace and they have that one rhinestone connected right before you get to the adjustable clasp closure. This is also available in gold Tonight, I'm only showing it to you in silver. It's called Fishing for Compliments. Isn't she cute? Yes, yes, yes. These blockbusters are the staples of the Paparazzi Jewelry Foundation. So I hope that you are liking what you see. I have a ball showing you this fabulous jewelry. The next thing I have... It's called In Good Glazes. Now, this one comes in peach, green, and black. Tonight, I have it for you in peach. We have these marble stones that look like they are tan and speckled with white. And then we have these iridescent peach stones. Uh, and the earrings match the iridescent peach stones. They are threaded along silver, light peach, and a metallic silver beading to give it a strength and a dignity of its own. It features an adjustable clasp closure. You have that much of an extender, so you have quite a bit of room to leverage it for length. And the earrings are interfaced and connected to standard fishhook fittings, matching this piece right here in this beautiful necklace. This is called in good glazes, item number 284, and this is a beautiful peach necklace. Now, this necklace 
has a beautiful, fascinating piece of wrist candy. You just had to. You just had to. It's called Glaze of Glory. It features the same uh, speckled marble, tan and white. And then we have the iridescent peach. You know, depending on which way the light hits it, it reflects back. And then we have the silver disc. And it's a long stretchable band for a flexible fit. This is item number 285. This one is called a glaze of glory. And the beautiful necklace that accompanies her is called in good glazes. Both pieces, $10.80, $5.40 each. Doesn't get any better. Doesn't get any more affordable. Good quality. I know. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so that was uh, In Good Glazes and A Glaze of Glory, 284 and 285. Up next, I want to show you Miss Universe. And Miss Universe is flashy and classy. And you can dress her up or down. This is Miss Universe. We have these fanned out scalloped edges that have this beautiful, beautiful figure shape. And we have a teardrop set a white rhinestone teardrop shape that is set in a silver frame. And as I stated, these fan out and we have rhinestones along the circumference of each one of these spindles or fans. This one is indicative of the earrings because this one doesn't have the fanfare. We just have the um, ellipse shape of a teardrop and we have the spindles around it. And that mimics the exact replica of the earrings, but the earrings are interfaced and connected to standard fish hook fittings for pierced ears. Her name is Miss Universe in Silver. You can dress her up or down. Item number 286. Very beautiful. 286, okay? Then we come back over here to another piece that has since been retired. Her name is Love at Fear Sight. And she is a conglomerate of teardrops that are white rhinestones set in a silver teardrop frame. And these are connected together. And each one of these connections house a conglomerate of baguette rhinestones that I'm trying to get the light to reflect and reflect off of them. This is very cute. Each side mirrors the other. And we have that one teardrop in the center. That is the focal point. It features an adjustable clasp closure, has that much of an extender, falls and lays like that below your collar. And look at those beautiful matching teardrop earrings. Aren't they fabulous? They are interfaced and connected to standard fish hook fittings for pierced ears. This one is called Love at Fierce Sight, item number 287. She is retired from the website. However, I have quite a few here in Queen Bee's shop right here. So let me know if that's your flavor. Item number 287, Love at Fierce Sight. Item number 288 is another blockbuster piece. Her name is The Sands of Time. I am going to show her to you in silver. We have, I call these wishbones, these shapes. This is what I call them. They're very funky and different. We have some hammered out activity going on with them. We have white rhinestones sporadically dispersed throughout to give it a little extra mm. And look at the earrings. The earrings are interfaced and connected to Standard fish hook fittings, and they house a rhinestone right at the top, a couple of them. Can you see that? Now, this is threaded along a silver chain. Fans out like that below your collar. Features an adjustable clasp closure with that much of an extender, so you have room to leverage 
it for length. This is item number 288. 288 is called The Sands of Time in Silver. Isn't that nice? 288. Thought you might like that. Okay. Item number 289 this evening is one of my favorite blockbuster pieces. Her name is Total Eclipse. She is from the Inspirational Collection. And we have these discs that have like an ellipse shape, but they have a lift to them in silver. We have oversized silver beads. We have the um, black beadings. We have puffy silver discs. And we have a tassel that has a puffy heart in silver with striations on both sides. We have that puffy silver disc. We have a half crescent shape that uh, looks like a man in the moon. We have a glassy white bead on there. We have just the uh, paper clip chain. And then we have the black bead that exudes from the chain. And then we have um, a silver chain with nothing on it. This is called Total Eclipse of the Heart. Now, this one does not have an adjustable clasp closure because you just put it over your head to put it on. Your earrings are interfaced and connected to standard fishhook fittings for pierced ears. This is called Total Eclipse of the Heart, item number 289. 289. Very cute. And last but not least, this evening, we will close the show with our latest blockbuster. This is the most recent or the most current one. Her name is Spotlight Stunner. Each side mimics the other. We have rounded shapes or rounded silver frames that are set in white rhinestones and they form a tassel. Each side mirrors the other, and then we have the elongated one, or the longest one in the center. It is threaded along a silver chain. It features an adjustable clasp closure with that much of an extender. This is a beautiful necklace, and it features white rhinestones in rounded form that are set in silver cap frames, interfaced and connected to standard fishhook fittings for pierced ears. This is item number 290, 290, and her name is Spotlight Stunner. Spotlight Stunner. Okay, it is now 7.58, and I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you all for joining me this evening. Your presence is tremendously appreciated. I thought I would come in this evening with some blockbuster pieces. Of course, these are not all. I will be back tomorrow with another show. Um, not really sure what it's going to be yet. It could be gold. It could be silver. It could be blue. It could be peach. I have no idea yet. I'm working on that in the back of my mind. And if there's anything in particular that you want to want me to show, please let me know, and I will honor your request. Okay? My prayer remains one and the same. Until we meet again, I pray that Father God holds each one of us in the palm of his hand. Thank you for joining me this evening. Have a good evening. And come on back tomorrow and join me again. It's going to be a surprise. Okay? Thank you for coming. Have a good night. And I'll see you tomorrow. Good night.